a very happy new year to all of you well 2020 has started 2019 has ended uh, what a year it's been what a year it's been था कि इस डेसअप में मैं क्यों हूं दरअसल मैं ये महसूस करने की आपको महसूस कराने की कोशिश कर रहा हूं कि अगर हम चांद पर गए तो कैसे जाएंगे सीरियसली वॉट आर यूर Hello Indians welcome to News Hamster today isn't going to be anything specific but we have a variety of things to look back at at the year 2019 we will just see all those remarkable events that shaped 2019 for us and also shaped the future for us and first this happened <laughs> Jokes apart, uh, the NSSO data officially confirmed in the beginning of the year that India is suffering from a job crisis, which meant that unemployment in India is at a 45-year high at 6.1 percent. But then the show must go on, or humbi aage bade gaye ki koi kuch to baat banegi. Make in India will work, skill in skill India will work, but nothing work. How's the jobs? Low, sir. The country's unemployment rate has not been this bad in 45 years. Now, this has come out of a latest survey, which says that there is a hike in unemployment by 6.1 percent. Then, in the month of February, we saw a horrible attack on our CRPF jawans in Pulwama, where more than 40 of them lost their lives. It's a tragic day today. At least 40 security personnel of the CRPF were killed, and many others injured. when terrorists targeted a convoy with a car bomb at Avantipura in Pulwama district just 20 kilometers short of Srinagar it is the worst attack on security forces in Jammu and Kashmir and we felt a sense of dismay after this attack and the indians were very furious about it we wanted uh, some kind of a yuri styled surgical strike to happen and guess what we got it thanks to our defense forces Then India did the Balakot air strike. That was the response that I was talking about, and destroyed around 12 Jaish e Mohammed terror camps in Pakistan using 12 Mirage 2000 flying jets. Well, amidst this uh, whole India-Pakistan stint, and in a way to deliver right kind of response to this attack, there emerged another hero. Apart from already those hundreds of men who are protecting us every day, the armed forces. His name was Wing Commander Abhinandan. You guessed it right. He was the one who was arrested by Pakistan and was released later. Indian Air Force Wing Commander, India's hero Abhinandan Vartman is finally back home. It was a moment that the nation had been waiting for for two days. Where Wing Commander Abhinandan sir tried to maintain confidentiality about his information and details. the indian media uh, by mistake uh, i don't know revealed or did its best to help the enemy bharat ke hi media ne pakistan ke us jawab ka turant jawab de diya us pilot ke parivar ke bare mein sari details hamare desh ke media ne ya to tv par chalani shuru kar di ya social media par dal di then we saw that india also shot down the f16 jets of pakistan and they gave them the proof ki ye lo humne kar diya hai after that we also cancelled the samjhota express with pakistan and then agar cricket match bhi hua hota to hum use bhi cancel kar dete but no cricket match happened yes this was the uh, the little little uh, india pakistan stint that 2019 was evident to of course when kartarpur sahib corridor was opened later the tensions were eased Few days later, India launched the Mission Shakti or the ASAT missile into the lower Earth orbit. Now, this mission was conducted by India to destroy a live satellite into the lower Earth orbit, and this made India the fourth country after U.S., Russia, and China to do so. This was a joint effort of the scientists from ISRO and DRDO. But guess who took the credit? This was the effort of the scientists who put in great, uh, you know. Labor and hard work to bring out this mission, but guess who announced on TV? अगर हम करें तो करें क्या बोलें तो बोलें क्या? Talking about the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, those are on Nice's Lok Sabha Chunav, where Modi ji promised अच्छे दिन and BJP promised Modi लहर. But Rahul Gandhi said लहर के बाद बूंदा बांदी अब की बार Rahul Gandhi. 
jokes apart this election seemed like a tough fight seemed like a tough fight where congress promised the nyay scheme and bjp promised everything in their sankalp patra everything in their sankalp patra all the bjp leaders became chokidars excellent uh, pr apart from that rahul gandhi saw this he said chokidar chor hai ended up getting a lawsuit filed against him achhi baat boli aapko achhi lagi to aise thoda maar dijiye hatha thoda sa maar dijiye maar dijiye the results came out in the month of may where the voter turnout was uh, 61% so what do you have to say about your performance and you have to say about uh, the choices that you have made let me know in the comment section let's talk well the nda swept majority in the center and several states like karnataka rajasthan etc the only thing that opposition was successful in staying was the release of the narendra modi biopic apart from that just went on and sadhvi pragya thakur continued doing what she loves to aise hum inke upar aise aisa haath ghumate hain ulte kram mein haath ghumate hain to hamara bp theek hota hai ye amrit hai ye scientific hai galat keh rahi ho kya गौमूत्र जो है मैं कैंसर की पेशेंट मैंने गौमूत्र से और पंचगव्य से बनी औषधियों से अपने को ठीक किया अपना कैंसर ठीक किया है आप कह रही हैं कि गौमूत्र खाने से आपका कैंसर चला गया हाँ गौमूत्र और पंचगव्य एंड देन द इंडिया गवर्नमेंट वाज फॉर्म्ड लेड बाय श्री नरेंद्र मोदी it took charge the parliamentary proceedings began and the rti act was amended where the central information commission became another caged parrot or a toothless tiger just like several other autonomous institutions of our nation like the election commission like the cbi like the rbi kuch aur bolo na bhaiya then the triple talaq bill was passed which made talaq 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 a criminal offence from a civil offence of course the government said that they are aiming at the liberation of indian muslim women from the clutches of patriarchy and religious uh, walls and they were successful in making the muslim behan or mai very very happy but the muslim baap or bhai were very angry time passed several bills were also passed and jammu and kashmir was made a union territory along with ladakh it's no more a state so now in india we have 28 states and 9 union territories well a lot of things happened in jammu and kashmir and still it continues to happen like uh, there was the state was shut down it is said that human rights violation happened and you know it's it said that uh, the internet was shut down and army troops were sent but the critics say the experts say that if this wasn't done we wouldn't have gotten the state back into the union at all nevertheless we are a union of states now we have jammu and kashmir back with us and yes azad kashmir then the nrc was done in assam it was completed several sources said it was not a complete process several sources said it was a complete process but that's a different news altogether then we had the launch of chandrayaan 2 by isro well it was another ambitious project of isro to launch a mission on moon which will have a soft landing on the lunar surface but the mission could not have a soft landing on the lunar surface it missed it by a mark yet we had another mission on the moon completely self made make in india you see yet isro continues to inspire us to our scientists i want to say india is with you then modi ji went to texas for the howdy modi event and showed indianness something like this bharat mein sab acha hai sab changa si daaj majama the anta bagundi then later we saw the 150th birth anniversary celebration of the man himself mohandas karamchand gandhi the father of our nation where modi ji declared the Swachh Bharat Mission is a successful campaign which lasted for 5 years and of course declared India as open defecation free. Now if you want to know that if India really is open defecation free then you got to watch this video which I'm going to post the link of in the description box below. Right? Apart from that we celebrated 3 years of demonetization. Enough said. Ayodhya verdict was then delivered the Supreme Court judgment came after many many tedious sessions and then the 
the property which comprised the main Babri Masjid structure was given to Ramlala Virajman and the Sunni Waqf board was allotted a uh, five acre land alternatively. I suppose many of us feared communal clashes after this judgment but nothing of that sorts happened because unity in diversity is the core of our oneness also, it remains timeless. Talking about the fear of clashes, we saw the JNU kids protesting for a fee hike. And India went, ye kya yaar, ye bachche, they can afford uh, spray paint to vandalize their campus, how can they not afford fees? Ye tukde tukde gang, ye liptard sale bachche, they said, uh, you know, the prime time debates happened, these Twitter battles happened, the articles were written, but somehow it was quelled and raised our hopes for 2020. The Citizenship Bill of 2019 was passed. It became the Citizenship Act of 2019. Well, it is just two months old and you know, you, the things are very fresh and still going on. If you want more information with regards to CAA, CAB and the protests, you can watch my vlogs and the link is in the description. That's how our year came to an end. Several minutely nice things also happened in this year. Like Allahabad was renamed Prayagraj. Uh, Modi ji participated in Man vs Wild. Uh, Modi ji cleaned Mamalapuram beach. Abhijit Banerjee won uh, the Nobel Prize for Economics. We bought several new defense equipments. Uh, several good movies came. Several great movies came. Uh, we got a new Chief Justice of India. We, uh, you know, we saw Amazon burn. We saw Greta get angry. We saw Donald uh, Trump getting impeached. We saw Baghdadi getting killed. We saw Delhi choking. And of course, we saw Nehru getting blamed and Godse getting praised. In 2019, we saw the demise of several great men and women like Arun Jaitley, Shushma Swaraj, Manohar Parikkar, Girish Karnad, Viju Kote and a lot of other people. Uh, that was a sad part of 2019. Well, uh, currently the economy is running at 4.5% uh, according to official data. But who is to be blamed? You millennials are to be blamed. Tum logo kuch aur kaam nahi. Ola uber mein jate rahte ho hamesha. Jao apni gaadi wadi kharido yaar. Hain? Pakade pakade talo. Uh, chai wai bana. Alright, that's how the 2019 came to an end for us. 2020 has just started. Let's hope it brings in some great things for the nation and for the people. And if you want more information with regards to uh, 2019, please read the Manor Maya book. But if you want more information about 2020, keep it locked to News Hamster. Uh, subscribe, karo, like, karo, or share. Karo. Please uh, don't forget to mention your views about this particular video. Stay tuned. Bye, Jehu.